Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another review. And this week I'm driving the VW T-Cross. I've always liked the T-Cross. Great vehicle, great drive, very comfortable. And it's got all of the necessities that uh, one could ask for. So, I mean, from a styling perspective, vehicle, basically a, a raised polo um, it's a bit higher but it's about more or less the same size as a polo and um, it's just you know um, it's got that raised body and uh, it's more of a SUV type uh, versus the polo which is more of a hatchback so it's got a little bit more boot space and a little bit more headroom as well I think the T-Cross is you know one of VW's best sellers uh, it's easy to see that I mean polo you see a lot of them on the road and the T-Cross is based off the polo so equally a lot of T-Crosses on the road and you know that's for good reason the the car drives really well and um, it's got all of the features that one would look for and it is quite pricey. This one's uh, at about 400 grand before options. So it can become a bit expensive, but nonetheless, a great vehicle, great drive. And so the T-Cross fits into a VW's T SUV lineup. So you've got the T-Cross, the Tygo, the T-Rock, which we recently had as well. And then you've obviously got the Tiguan and the Touareg. So that's basically the T SUV lineup. So the T-Cross is the entry point into uh, the SUV lineup from VW. Now from outside, the T-Cross does look quite nice. It's uh, good styling and uh, you know, nothing to really complain about, to be quite honest. I think the vehicle does look quite nice. So at the front of the vehicle, you do get halogen headlights as well as your online badging. And then you get the fogs at the bottom, which also encompass uh, daytime running lights. At the rear, you've got this light bar effect and um, does look quite cool, uh, as well as in the night. And uh, yeah, I think uh, all in all, a uh, good design and a good look and feel of the vehicle. It looks quite modern and uh, it's quite practical as well. And uh, under the bonnet, you've got a one liter TSI engine. Uh, it develops 70 kilowatts and it's mated to a five speed manual gearbox. The five speed is quite smooth and nice to drive, clutch is soft as well. But you know, in the traffic, it can become a bit of a pain. Um, but other than that, you know, I do like the manuals and you get to save a little bit of money. But I mean, you know, yeah, in the traffic, it can be a bit draining. But overall, the vehicle drives really well, very comfortable on the road, very you know, confident around the corners. And um, you know, the five speed is quite, quite a joy to drive uh, when you're not sitting in bumper to bumper traffic. Now, my fuel consumption has been sitting at about 10 liters. So nowhere near the claim fuel consumption from VW but I think this can be brought down a bit more and you just have to put in a bit more work as well but I've done about 200 k's and um, yeah I'm, I've been averaging 10.2 liters per 100 k's so on the back at the back seats you've got decent leg room and um, you've also got two USB ports you've got uh, no center armrest and then you've got a cup holders on the sides of your seat you got electric windows and that's pretty much it um, so very basic in the rear in the front you've got an active info display you've got a composite media radio system which is quite nice uh, just no navigation i mean all in all it's uh, very technologically friendly um, a lot of good tech here you've also got the got um, a reverse camera you've got parking sensors reverse camera is optional extra 
you've got the park assist um, no no vents in the rear as well and then you've also got uh, your steering controls on the left you've got your cruise control settings this one's got adaptive cruise control thankfully um, it is quite nice to have that uh, so make sure you do opt for the adaptive cruise control especially if you're doing a lot of long distance and highway driving and you know even in traffic adaptive cruise control is really good uh, you know even on the highway when you're driving adaptive cruise control will stop the vehicle if you have to but because this one's a manual it can become a bit of a pain in the ass because you gotta keep on dropping gears but on an auto adaptive cruise control will continuously pick up the car in front of you drop your gears and pick up speed without you having to do anything so yeah so anyway on the right you go on the left you've got your cruise control settings on the right you've got your active info display settings display settings and then you got about what one two about three views here in your active info display and then yeah you got some basic uh, vehicle settings and that's about it for the active info display you've got uh, one touch electric windows all around which is cool um, on the dash you've got this nice kind of finish uh, not a lot of soft touches in the vehicle uh, more hard plastics but I think it's not bad um, you know uh, really really good quality um, overall in terms of the build in the front uh, you've got cloth seats all around and then um, you've got a leather steering wheel and yeah, I mean, you've got inductive charging. You also get two USB ports in the front. So, all in all, I think, uh, you know, good value and uh, good proposition here by VW, which is part of the reason why, you know, the, the T-Cross is such a popular vehicle in its segment. So, yeah, you can get into the T-Cross for about 400 grand before options for the comfort line. But I mean, yeah, with options and depending on how you spec the vehicle, this one's got the R-Line kit on it. It is nice, it does look good. Um, so I won't discount that, but yeah, it does cost a bit of money. So bear that in mind. You also got some storage here in your center armrest. It is extendable. You can put your hands up there. You got auto headlights, auto wipers, and yeah. I think that's about it eh? um, this one's got the smokers package but I mean in terms of the overall drive oh you also get obviously Apple CarPlay and Android Auto here so that's nothing you need to worry about but uh, you, for the IQ drive settings you do get active cruise control front assist and then the driver alert system other than that you're not really getting much you got your sound system no beat sound system here so this is just a standard sound system ain't nothing wrong with it and um, yeah i got no uh, gripes with the standard sound system in this t-cross boot is not big um you could probably put a bag or two in there but uh, definitely not the biggest boot in the world I think polo so you know a couple of bags maybe slightly bigger than a polo but overall yeah still still quite a small boot uh, especially if you've got family kids and stuff but other than that i think it's fine for a run around for single individuals or even if you're married with no kids uh, or even if you got one kid i think you can make it work but i think uh, two kids and you're gonna have a problem my friend but uh, other than that Polo drive, uh, the T-Cross drives really well. It's, it's, it can be very economical if you put in more work into your driving style. I don't really do much of that, but I know the fuel consumption can be brought down on this car, um, especially on highway and an open road. I think that's where it will really shine and this one liter motor will shine. In terms of performance, 70 kilowatts doesn't feel like a lot, but you know, with the manual gearbox, you are in control of those revs. So you can get going quite nicely. There's a bit of turbo, turbo lag at the bottom. But other than that, 
the vehicle drives really well and uh, you know for 70 kilowatts it does do its job quite well in terms of uh, the spare tire this vehicle comes with a biscuit tire as well and there is adequate room here in the boot um, you can also drop your seats uh, to make more space available I'd say about 300 and uh, odd uh, liters of boot space I didn't really check but um, yeah I'd say about 300 odd liters of boot space in, in, in this boot all right that's it from me uh, thanks for watching and uh, let me know are you choosing the t-cross or are you taking the polo and uh, and why let me know in the comments below make sure you do like and subscribe to our channel or to the channel and uh, yeah we'll catch you on the next one oh yeah and if you are looking for a t-cross make sure you go check out our site um, you can inquire for a t-cross there and somebody will be in touch with you to help you get the best deal on uh, your T-Cross. So no need to fill out endless contact forms and have 50 dealers contact you. Just fill out one request and somebody in our team will make sure that we shop around and get you the best deal on your new T-Cross. Sweet.